I'm Jennifer Angel. This is your overview for this coming week, a snapshot of what's coming up at Pisces. So right there in the middle of the week on the 25th, we've got another opposition between Mars and Uranus. So Mars was retrograde, it's now uh, direct and it's come back over Uranus to we get another sort of hit on that so such joy because it's a bit of a heavy duty uh, opposition and for you Pisces it's in your second and your eighth house so um, <clears throat> uh, there's quite a few different areas that both these houses uh, do um, represent but they're both your money houses as well the second is really money about from your working directly so there could be some changes in how you're making your cash so be open to that a change is not bad it's you know um, can just change the status quo and move things around for you it could and Uranus is like sudden it's the sudden change uh, masters so uh, be prepared for things to come out of the blue and of course Mars uh, really gets things going gets you motivated and uh, so you could hear news from somebody that's whole in control of your financial situation so that can all change around this time now um, keep in mind that Mercury is still retrograde and um, Mercury is sitting in your song fourth house all to do with your family and domestic scene so any communication you've got going on at that level you want to make sure that you're clear concise and follow through don't expect someone else to look after your affairs okay you're in charge of your life and it's up to you to step up and make sure that you're being looked after okay Venus moves into this area of your chart this week too so that sort of helps you um, have harmonious relationships so um, you know this you know this is a great thing however towards the end of the week Venus is going to square Neptune which is your ruling planet in your sign so you know with that you want to be careful that you're not reading something else into a situation that's not there so keep it real uh, and you know if you're dealing with someone that you know you can trust their sincerity fine if not Tune into your intuition, Pisces. It'll tell you everything that you need to know. And if things aren't going the way that they should, then, as I said, step up and do something about it, okay? Have a great week. There's a um, new moon this week as well, and it's in your solar fifth house. So this is great for social activities and great for love. So who knows? Some of you could be meeting someone very special during this time or perhaps someone coming back into your life because Mercury is retrograde and it can do that sometimes. So whatever it is for you Pisces, have a fabulous week. Love and luck to you. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.